What is going on, Protein Shake from Brogadishu? Luna Classic is ready for something. I'm going to show you on the charts. I'm going to show you everything that shows you that Luna Classic is ready for an explosive sort of move. Now, I've talked to you about it for a long time because it's coming. It's almost here. But before that, we're going to have to talk about a few of the pieces that are going to fall into place over the next few days that are going to allow for something like that to happen. At the end of the day, it really comes down to investors. Do we do we attract new investors? Do we bring new people into the fold, if you will, and create an environment by which they want to be part of and invest in? And that's how it's going to happen. And by the way, it's not you and me, or it is in part, but it's not just you and me. It's about how this this ecosystem is built, is thriving, you know, what's going on. Okay, so stick with me. We're going to break this down. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in and uh, let's get after it. Okay, first to close out the story that's causing everybody to cry like bitches, uh, Terra Luna Classic takes over coin market cap access from Duquan. Now, not, not directly Duquan. This is a, a clickbait sort of title. If you want to check it out, it's at dailycoin.com. But what it reads is the Terra Luna Classic... Uh, Terra Luna Classic Community versus Duquan, the battle for fundamental coin market cap data access finally has a winner. Uh, this is wild, <laughs> but really what it is, is that the community has taken it over from Terraform Labs, which is winding down. It's not a battle. Um, it's just that's where coin market cap thought they were supposed to be going for the data. That's now been transferred to all nodes, and all nodes will take over all of the updates. Now, the updates, of course, will come through governance, uh, and that's how it's going to happen. So that's what will take place going forward. So nothing huge, nothing major, but we're, we're going to talk about it. Okay, for proposals that are up right now, why you should start to get a little bit bullish here, there's a development of a burning interface and reward mechanism for USTC. And this is a proposal being put up for you guys to discuss and go to. The conclusion for this, I don't want to read the whole thing, but it says this proposal aims to establish a sustainable path to restoring and maintaining USTC $1 peg by directly uh, involving the community through incentivized burning by offering a structured reward mechanism we hope to create long-term engagement and commitment to the stability of USTC. The combination of daily returns and annual interest will help maintain enthusiasm among participants. So staking USTC would help people and prevent people from selling. And it would also help to stabilize any kind of price action. But of course, during some of this process, we need a burn mechanism in place. This is my opinion, by the way. We need some kind of burn mechanism in place in which we, uh, the community, would keep some of the USTC in order to sell it, convert it to a stable coin, if you will, and start to use that stable coin reserve to peg this thing so that it's not algorithmic, so that it actually is pegged to whatever dollar amount. So if we started off, let's say, at one cent and we have enough going through, it would be algorithmic at first. It would not even you know, register as a stable coin. I don't even think we use that word anymore, but we're looking for it to maintain a price at $1, right? So we would start at a penny, and then when we've got enough funds that we've gone, gone through trading uh, and, and fees, we've got enough that we actually now have enough actual stable coin to maintain that peg to, uh, you know, say two cents, then we move it up to two cents. When we got enough for three cents, we move it up to three cents. And then there would be like a community pool there that would be designed for that purpose. And we would hold it as a strategic reserve to make sure that that peg happens. In the meantime, there would be more USTC being burned and uh, each one would have a tax post trade which is why we're doing the reverse charge. Um, Post-trade, uh, there would be a little little piece of it that instead of going back into the community pool, would just be burned, and then the other piece would be used to buy up some stable coin and peg it. So uh, it's a fascinating plan, ultimately, and I hope that you know we have some discussion about how to get there. Uh, also up, Vegas is adjusting the burn tax distribution. We talked about this before, um, and, and he explained the current allotment and the way that it is. Um, and then what he would like to do is 80% is burn, 10% to the community, and 10% goes to Oracle. And what he wants to do is put burn a 55%, community pool 5%, and then the reward pool 40%, which would incentivize people to stake because, you know, let me, let's be honest, there's so many tokens in circulation right now, so many coins in circulation, I'm sorry, that... The rewards for it are basically just staking it, you know, like and giving people additional power to vote. Like, you know, the, the rewards, they're not much. They're, they're really not much. So even incentivize at high amounts to stake, you know, we could probably do better. And we would be able to do better if we did some kind of proposal and, and change in the plan. Now, I'm not sure that I would agree with this. I like the fact that they're burning. Uh, so I would be, my vote at this point, even 
even looking at that uh, without even reading the data. And by the way, the data might change my mind. But, you know, for right now, just looking on the surface before I read, I don't like it because I would like to see more burned. So I think a lot of people are going to be looking at it the same way I am in that there would you know be a lot of burns, um, which is what we need. And reducing that probably doesn't fix anything. Um, so, you know, but I'm going to read through it. I'll let you know what I think tomorrow or the day after. Let's move on to meme coins. Meme coins are down a tiny bit on the day, but cat with hat still continues to soar. Jura still continuing to soar. Boys continue to soar. Food uh, continuing to soar as well. Terra, by the way, Terra spiked another 8%. By the way, look at this. This is Terra for the last bunch of days here for for f last four or five days um, it's up almost 2x from where it was initially and originally and if you remember if you go to terraport.finance i've already got mine staked here got seven days left i've earned 220 as reward but i got a total of 5026 stake we're going to pull that out and we're going to continue uh 16 apy is what we're getting off of it so uh in the event that you know this uh, plays out go to terraport.finance if you want to trade meme coins if you want to go uh, get into the launch pad there's selenium i don't have enough yet we're going to fix that uh, as soon as my as soon as i unstake over here and then we're going to start farming this every single day um to to make sure that we have some of the selenium there's 54 days remaining in this so i figure you know after seven more days we'll be good to go so um, I'll get in there in, in a very short order and start earning myself some. So uh, if you're interested, you should be doing the same thing. Uh, but go check out Terraport.finance, one of the sponsors of the channel today. Also, while you're doing it, Terra Casino, uh, Spirits of the Prairie, available today. Make a free roll, $5,000 only on October 26th, and that is in two days. So make sure you're signed up and ready to go by then. Daily cash drops of up to 11000 USD uh, until October 27th. you got three days left on that. World Poker League giving away up to 2 million euros through December 22nd. LFG, baby, let's go. Uh, and then these are all the different cryptos that you can use in order to do that. So check out Terra Luna Casino. Sign up for it today. Helps me out, by the way. They are a sponsor of the channel. So every time you sign up, you help me to help them and uh, continue to provide you with this news and this update every single day. So sign up today. Now back to it. Terra continues to to kind of soar here. Uh, is it going up another leg? Are we you know are we looking at? I'm going to move this out here a little bit more. A little daily chart going to help dramatically here. Now uh, this gives us a little more perspective, and we're down about 10x from the all time high. So it is reasonable to assume that when this thing starts to really rip, we're going to get into this range right here. Uh, so I, I would suspect that we're probably going to see some more upward momentum taking us right into that little range right there, uh, which means that we've got another, let's call it 40% to go before we've completed this move. There would be some sell down potentially uh, from that. But I mean, look at Terra really having a nice run right now. So um, I don't know what you're waiting for, uh, but you know, looking pretty good at this point. Uh, I would not sleep on Terra in the long term right now, getting a nice little pump. By the way, being at the center of trading and meme coins and stuff like that probably is going to help dramatically. You know, the question is, are you a supporter? Right, do you support uh, what, what's going on over there? And there's people that, you know, argue and fight and and, and cry like babies on, um, uh, on on X all day long about this kind of stuff. And I don't get it. Like, like um, I don't get it. I don't get it. Sorry. I don't have enough time for hate in my life, so I don't get it. All right, so as far as Galaxy Station goes, proposal to remove the hard fork module uh, from Terra Classic, it looks like it is going to pass. Right now, it's still at 99%. Uh, but uh, when you look at it so far, you've got all nodes. You've got, I mean, basically everybody. There's no no's. There's no no with vetoes. There's no abstains. Everybody's voting yes. We still have a few days left three days. So it will go over the threshold if it's not I, you know, like, and if it's not like it's almost there. So any moment now it will be over the threshold and that will be it. And we will remove some of these forks and it'll become a lot easier to build in the Lunk ecosystem. So big time progress. Now let's talk price action.
All right, price action. So you saw a big down red arrow yesterday, but you saw that in the broader market. You've been seeing that for two days now. We had a, a drastic sort of sell-off uh, in the markets as they got, you know, markets get spooked every once in a while. So a little spooked right now, but it looks like the reversal might be incoming. Here's why you shouldn't be, um, here's why you should look at a day like today uh, or yesterday and just be like, oh, well. And the reason for that is, and I mean, look at that big red candle that we had yesterday. Like, that's not good. You had that move all the way from up here at 93, all the way back down here to 86. And you were having the breakout. Like, we were really having that nice little breakout about to drop that zero like we did back in September. We were about to get into that range, and then the market just had a drastic sell-off, right? Well, here's what happened. Ultimately, it bounced off the 50 MA. A year ago, the valuation of Cryptonomy.Finance was $3.7 billion, according to the British government. Today, that value, $6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise $2.4 in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then Cryptonomy Telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter, uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH in market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lift Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that, but the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57X average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5x with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're going to create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between 1 and 5x when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for autonomy.finance today. Right down here, within the range of this trend that I gave you guys a while back. And then it starts to recover immediately. You can see that was a lot of buyback right there. Didn't come back to where it was before, but the market ultimately has not done that as well. We're down about $80 billion from a few days ago. So uh, as that money trickles its way back in, and look at just people clearing out their, their pockets, if you will. So the move is going to continue. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You can see right here, this is the 200 MA. This is that purple line right there. And then this green line right here, this is the 50 MA. And this is a golden cross. So the golden cross is about to happen like at the beginning of November. And that's usually a very bullish indicator. Now, as with anything, that is a lagging indicator. So that doesn't mean that an explosive move is about to happen. It means that one is happening. Okay, so uh, just just remember that this kind of move here with higher lows, you know, the fact that we're moving up this chart means that we're bullish right now. And because we're bullish right now, that's the reaction of the technical indicators. So it, to, to expect them to continue is not unreasonable uh, to continue through this channel. So um, get bullish right now because there's going to be a big move. And now more broadly here, when that happens, there's a levels to this stuff right now that when we zoom out, we start looking at this. And again, this is the, the next big impulse move is about a 3x from where we are right now up into this three zeros to uh, 22, 23 sort of range. And then if accepted into that range, then a quick and dirty breakout to three zeros 58, three zeros 59 is the next thing that's on tap. Now, why would all of that happen? Well, from Burns, 332 million over here over the last seven days. Now, not very good so far today, 
but yesterday was one of the bigger burn days in the last few days, but still aggressive sort of burns. Um, we haven't had any of the Terraform Labs. If we go to Lunk Dash and we look at like top holders over here, we still, we still have that wallet out there that we think is that Terraform Labs wallet that has to burn within seven, six days now. So we've got that one and we know for sure that this one from the Luna Foundation Guard and the Terraform Labs over here, 2.1 billion. We know that those are going to be burned. We know that. So now, you know, it's, it's simply a matter of, you know, make it happen. And if you make it happen, then this is going to be just, just incredible, really going to be incredible. And it's going to start massive amounts of burns because let's remember, there's only about 8 billion total USTC in circulation, uh, well, 5.83 billion in circulation, but 8.1 billion total. So to see a big, big, big amount coming out, that's going to be a, a massive move for this market. Now, uh, volume still down just a little bit on everything as the market, again, just sort of corrects itself. Um, uh, and, and look, that somebody's recognizing here, 635% increase in volume out of nowhere. People are deciding right now, there's something cooking underneath the surface. There's a lot of people kind of layering themselves in. So something big is coming from Luna Classic. Like that's the, these are the, these are the type of data spikes. These are the type of things that let you know that there's something in the works there. Okay. So um, we get some burns over here. Uh, we get a few of those. And then we've got our Luna Classic um, uh, down here. A couple of these big wallets are going to end up being burned. That's going to be a, a huge amount. Remember, um, that could just be 274 billion. And by the way, burn track, remember, 135 billion is what we burned so far. It's going to 3x that number in a heartbeat. So uh, very big, very, this is a very big moment for Luna Classic. And remember, without those burns, without any of the burns, we were already up here at 306 at one point before. And then we had a spike here to 303 uh, and then 3025. So, um, you know, there's a lot of money out here in this market and it's going to come back here, especially when people see what's about to happen this is a big move. This is a big moment. You should be holding some Luna Classic and you should be pretty excited about that. So to close this out, I just want to say something and I'm going to keep this very, very simple. Okay. It is okay for people to not like the direction of proposals and things like that. Everybody is out for the betterment of the Luna Classic ecosystem. They want what's best for the, uh, the the broader ecosystem. What I told you for a long time is if Vegas votes the way that you want, validate with him. If he doesn't vote the way that you want, validate with somebody else. Find people who align with your principles on what you think should happen. And you don't have to do it out loud and, and cry about it in front of everybody or anything like that. You can do it privately of your own design. Now, that does leave the, the question to why are people attacking each other? And look, I don't have a good answer for that. Um, I think that some people disagree with what decentralization ultimately looks like. I dispute the fact that decentralization is as big a deal as everybody else. Uh, when they say true DeFi, because let me tell you, our true DeFi so far, we're the only, and, and by the way, this is number 122nd overall cryptocurrency. Out of the 122 or 121 other cryptos, they all have a website, okay? This is how we are. We don't even have a website. And it really wasn't until, what, two days ago that I put out a video that people constantly ask me, how do you even cash out? How do you even do stuff on this ecosystem? That's where we are. And, you know, you've got a bunch of people out here who are treating this like, oh, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's not. It's not because there are, there are on-ramps that we have. Nobody's explaining how to do the on-ramps. Uh, they're just like, hey, figure it out, scrub. These are your validators. They're not telling you, they're not helping you, they're not doing anything for you. By the way, if you want to trade on a centralized exchange, Weeks, W-E-E-X, that's where you you know that's where you go trade. Binance, if you're out of the United States, uh, there's no Binance US doesn't have Luna Classic. Um, so, you know, there's a couple places you can go trade, generally speaking, but, you know, um, it, otherwise, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to find ways to get into the Lunk ecosystem. Now, uh, changing some of those forked modules going to make it easier. It's going to be more adaptable with Cosmos uh, more broadly, which means like, you know, from Crow and, and, and different chains that are in the, the Lunk ecosystem or the Cosmos ecosystem, it will become easier, but it's very difficult right now. And nobody's really doing anything about it um, out loud. Now, are people working on it in the background? Sure. Um, Terraport, look, they don't like... Terraport, 
that they've had a problem with Terraport. Terraport's a sponsor for this channel, so I'm going to defend Terraport. And I don't have a problem with Terraport, and I didn't have a problem with them to begin with because this is why I partnered with them. However, you can buy crypto right here. Like you can click on this and you can use a Visa or MasterCard in order to buy crypto. Um, they don't let you do that in other places. Like this is one of the places that allows you to onboard Luna Classic. And these guys are crying and bitching about it. And they're crying and bitching about it because they don't think that it's on the chain, if you will. And while that might be fair, um, uh, that doesn't mean that it doesn't benefit the blockchain. Because here, Terra Casino, right there. Here, Terraport Finance, right there. Um, uh, you know what I don't see? Lunk Live. You know what I don't see? Uh, what's Happy Caddy Crypto's called? Lunk Dash. I don't see that. Matter of fact, Lunk Burn App. I see that. What we talk about. Uh, Terra Casino. All notes. Terra Casino's burn more than all notes. So, I don't know that our priorities are always aligned properly. I don't know if our brains are all aligned properly sometimes when I look at some of this stuff because I try to keep it simple. Do you burn for the ecosystem? Do you support the ecosystem? Do you vote the way that I want you to vote in the ecosystem? That's enough for me. I don't need to have petty squabbles in order to figure this out. And by the way, when I when I say this is not against Happy Caddy Crypto, I'm sure that he does a he does a ton for the Luna Classic community. This is not a shot at Diamond Hands. He does a ton for the communities. But where all our belief systems are not going to align, these kind of processes by the way, over the long term, they have a way of working themselves out. There's always going to be bad actors. You're always going to have people who just don't fit into these ecosystems. There's always going to be those people. They'll either adapt or they'll stay strange and still be here or they'll go away. So, you know, I don't put too much into this. I hope you don't either. And I probably just spent six minutes of your time talking about something that really isn't that important. But I felt like it needed to be said over the you know last little while. Uh, if if Happy Caddy, if Diamond Hands, if Rex YZ, if Vegas, if they do things the way that you want, validate with them. If they don't, don't validate with them. If all nodes votes the way you want, validate with them. If they don't, don't validate with them. My problem with all nodes is because these guys... My only problem, by the way, in this ecosystem is that I'm supposed to shut up and play nice with all nodes because all nodes is the largest delegator and they've been a supporter through Binance for a long period of time. But I'm supposed to shut up when the most centralized entity in this ecosystem is staring us in the face and renting, renting their uh, nodes to these guys creating further centralization, and I'm not supposed to have a problem with that. I'm supposed to have a problem with Rex YZ or Vegas or Dime or, or all these other people. I'm supposed to have a problem with, but the, the only problem in my eyes when it comes to centralization is that we have one huge validator that's about as centralized as it gets. But that's my opinion. I could be wrong about it. Uh, I know that they're the number one validator, but you know. It, it. So anyway, um, that's a little bit of a rant. So, but I felt like, you know, it's my show. I get to tell you guys what I think. So uh, that's what I think. Hope you guys aren't offended by that. Hope you appreciate the fact that I'm conflicted sometimes. But, you know, ultimately, I want what's best for the Luna Classic community. I'm invested in it. I'm invested in all these different meme coins because I want to be supportive. I don't want to cry about them publicly. Uh, I want to see something really good happen. And for everybody to pretend like there's some kind of benign circumstance there, there's there, there's some kind of underlying, oh, these guys are just trying to grift you and make money off of you. Uh, you have a validator. You're making money off of everybody. So what are we talking about? You know what I mean? Validators, they make money every month, by the way. So uh, if you didn't know that, now you do. So uh, that's it for my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this is not financial advice. I am absolutely insane. And uh, I'm always right. So we'll talk to you again very, very soon.